Lands in Brisbane for the Coca-Cola 10-pin Classic and it gives me a great deal of pleasure to welcome our expert commentator again, former Victorian and Tasmanian coach Glenn McFarlane. Today, a good clash. We see two Australian representatives head-to-head -head in Cara Honeychurch and Carl Bottomley. Yes, Bill, this is going to be another great match. Uh, Cara won the World Cup in 1996. Carl finished th uh, third in the men's division. They both know each other well, but we're going to have to see what happens here. We know that Cara has shot uh, previously in the Coat Classic, the high game of 248. Let's see if Carl can better that today. Yeah, should be a good game. Let's have a look at both player statistics. Cara Honeychurch was the 1996 World Cup champion. Also in 1996, she was voted the World Amateur Bowler of the Year. She's won the Australian Masters three years in a row and would be Australia's highest profile bowler. Really all I try and do is, is, is replicate what it's like to bowl in practice. Just get up there and forget that there's lights around and there's people uh, everywhere. Just get up there and, and do what I do best and just get up there and, th and throw a good shot. It, it is a difficult format because it is so cutthroat. You know, you lose one game and you're out. So. Um, I don't know, I, I don't really feel any extra pressure, I uh, just want to get out there and, uh, and, and bowl well. Carl Bottomley has bowled a perfect 300 game on seven occasions. He's won the Cool Foam Classic three times and is a regular Australian team representative. Carl topped off a fantastic 1996 with third place in the World Cup. Uh, it's got to be treated as just another day at the office. There's, every day you walk through, walk into a centre, you've just got to treat every day as a new day and take things one step at a time. Uh, I've done reasonably well in the past, but not exceptionally well, and I'd like to do walk out at least feeling I bowled as well as I possibly could. Yes, really looking forward to this game. We saw Cara Honeychurch last week, and uh, $3,000 cash in the Co Classic up for grabs, and she's gonna be a big contender for that. Of course, there's that all expenses paid trip to the high rollers as well in Las Vegas. We saw uh, Cara last week shoot the tournament high thus far, 248. Sue Castle, New South Wales captain and current Australian team member, joins us again in commentary today. She's uh, just got to be favoured in this game too. Yeah, she's currently uh, bowling at her peak at the moment. Well, a little bit light on that shot. Might have been a little bit of nerves to get the match underway, but uh, I'm sure we're in for a fantastic match here today. Last week we saw Cara... Eight strikes, six consecutive, uh, really was a blitz. Let's see if she can get on a roll again today. Yeah, that's a good spare there for Cara. Just closing out the first one. And of course, both of our players today are former World Cup travellers. Carl placed third in the 1996 Bowling World Cup. And Cara won it. Of course, superb efforts. It's our first look at Carl for the uh, classic 28 year old administration officer from Regent's Park in Queensland. Come on. Let's have a look at his technique. And that looks pretty good. He's happy with that. Perfect start for Carl Bottomley. That's the confidence boost you'd need. Vastly different styles between Carl and Carl, of course, one left, one right. Carl using all of the lane you'll see here on the replay, swinging the ball out, giving it room, coming up to the pocket for a second hit. Oh, that's not bad either. I tell you what, he's got another one. That's a double for Carl Bottomley. He's thrown out a challenge. This shot is just absolutely perfect. Straight through the ball, comes back, finishes hard. Never in doubt of leaving anything standing. And to his credit, Carl's already got seven perfect games. Be great if we could uh, manage to make it the eighth here on TV and pick up that $3,000 bonus. Cara Honeychurch, a game high 299 in her career. <laughs> Strike action for her, pins in the pit. Beautiful to watch. You know the car is in good form in the Coke Classic. She's came off a great win to get her to this stage over Tony Roderick, 248 to 211. And as you said, Bill, that was a high match of the tournament so far. But uh, big things expected from both of our players today. So we spoke a little earlier, Cara seems to get in a zone. She's a very focused competitor. Yeah, if we just, uh, if you watch her routine, she always wipes the ball. That's to get off any excess oil that uh, the ball has got on it from the lane. Uh, she always wipes that clear. 
Are we looking at a double? Unfortunately, not this time. No, just a little bit light on that shot. She's left uh, two pins standing as we look at this split screen replay. So the closing out shouldn't be a problem for her. Runner up in the British Open in 97. A winner of the Australian Masters <laughs> in that year. And closes out very nicely. Thank you very much. Carl has made the perfect start so far, going for three in a row with Turkey. He's got it, nailed it. The shot. That could be a cool foam magic moment very early in this game. That lands in Brisbane. We're really seeing some fine bowling in the Coca-Cola Classic. At this stage, we've got world, former World Cup champ Cara Honeychurch. She's taking on Queensland's Carl Bottomley, who leads by 10. He's opened in spectacular fashion. Three successive strikes. This stage, he is on target if he keeps going for that $5,000 bonus for a perfect 300 game. That's good to see of AMF and a goal pin. We'll see how he goes. Will he stay on target? Yes, he will. Oh, what a ripper. Oh, he likes it too. Great shot from Carl. Oh, this is an, another fine exhibition of bowling we're seeing here today in the Coca-Cola Classic. On the replay, Carl coming up there with the ball, giving it plenty of room. And they don't come much more solid than that. He likes it. Now, we mentioned a couple of times throughout the tournament that it's being played on uh, synthetic lanes for the first time, so is that uh, conducive, obviously, to uh, some good scoring? Doesn't seem to be hindering anyone. Hold. It's a really nice combination they have here at the Mount Gravatt lanes with the synthetic lanes, but the actual approach is a timber, and that makes it, in a lot of cases, easier for the bowler to, to finish up at the foul line and to, to slide. So uh, a great setup here on our championship pair of lanes. Well, Cara under a little bit of pressure here. It is only very early, but sudden death, of course, in the co-classic as she closes out with a nice spare. So she's chasing Carl Bottomley at the moment. Cara won the Australian Masters in 95, 96 and 97. And she's looking to stay alive here in the co-classic, and that's the sort of shot that will do that. That produces the margin to 20 pins. So Carl Bottomley still in the lead. And Carl working on his fifth strike in a row. In fact, he says one of the things you know, about the game is the fact that you can bowl a perfect score. He says that there's not many sports where you can turn in a perfect performance, but he likes bowling because this is one of them. Five times an Australian representative. Let's watch Carl go to work. Oh, that's looking good as well. He is on fire. Is anything going to stop this man? It's going to take something special, let me tell you. Again on the replay here, you see Carl solid at the line. And see, so I really like the way he's playing the lane. He's, uh, he's got some great leverage at the foul line. Uh, wonderful technician of the sport. Carl has jumped out to a 30-pin lead thanks to uh, five successive strikes. Now see, again, you see the same routine. Everyone's got their own routine. They take their time, uh, set themselves up. Because remember, it's sudden death here, so throwing a 250 and losing is no good. They've got to actually win the match to progress through to the next stage. Is this going to be six successive strikes? It is. He's got it. He's got it. Well, he's well and truly on target. We may see it. That $5,000 bonus for the perfect 300 game. He's closing in on it. That would be the first time it would have happened on TV outside the USA if it does happen. But now let's see how Cara Honeychurch responds. The World Cup champs under pressure. Former World Cup champ. That's the sort of response you expect from someone of that caliber. Uh, she'll be happy with that. Yeah, certainly hasn't given up at all. Eight strikes in the last game she played. She'd love to recreate some of that right now. So that's the kind of a bad way to do it. That's three in a row. A turkey now for Cara Honeychurch. So is this where she's making her run to apply some pressure? 
our replay here, Car, it gets a, a good mix here out of the one-two pocket for the left hander. And taking out the 6-10 towards the end. Carl steps up to bowl with a lead of 30 pins. Yeah, we're looking at Carl's possible seventh strike in a row for this shot. He's taking his time. Seven in a row. Yes. Oh, this is a magnificent display of 10 pin bowling. He's really turning on an exhibition. Well, the young man already has seven perfect games to his credit. Can this be number eight coming up for us? Looked like it just went out a little bit wider than the last shots we've seen on the right hand lane, and it came back twice as hard. He'd be happy with that. And Cara just uh, collecting her thoughts. Carl Bottomley, the man of the moment. I think I'd be right in saying that uh, Cara's not actually playing Carl when she's down there bowling. She's she's there on her own and she's focusing in on her own game. And uh, if Carl can bowl better than her and score better than her, well, good luck to him. Yeah. So we're looking for the eighth strike. Oh, well, not to be bad luck, but so uh, what? A super run. Wonderful sure. performance. Yeah, Carl acknowledging the crowd support too here at the Mount yes. of that Lions. It's uh, really a treat for the crowd to see bowling of that caliber. From both to see a run like that. So the $5,000 bonus is safe in this game. But it was under siege there for a while. Let's watch Carl close out. Yeah, Carl. Safe as a house. Never any doubt for Carl Bottomley. Yeah, it was great sportsmanship between these two. Now, Cara, she has uh, 40 pins to make up. So, Carl still has a very, very comfortable lead. He's uh, sitting pretty at the moment. We know what Cara's capable of. She's going for her fourth successive strike. Come on! Three pins still standing. So, job ahead for Kara to remain in the Co Classic. That's a great step. And she also doesn't make any mistakes in closing out the frame. But it's all Carl Bottomley at the moment. Stick around, we're coming back after the break. In this game, Carl Bottomley, Queensland, the hometown boy, leads by 43 pins. Karani Church, former World Cup champ, on the lane. Yep, the all important ninth frame. Yes. <laughs> and uh, you heard Cara there, so as you said, very good sportsmanship. Uh, she knows Carl's having a hot game and uh, she's just urging him to uh, continue on and finish off the game. Carl, the 28-year-old administrative officer here in Queensland. Winner of the 1997 Cool Foam Classic and that's something that he's won for three times now. He'll be looking for another strike here. And there it is. She is. He's a hippie looked up there very well. <laughs> Carl's uh, currently shooting at a 278 pace if he can just close out the 10th frame now with three more strikes. And he's been rock solid from go to woe. We might just, uh, we notice obviously the, uh, the players all have a selection of balls. How many are they allowed to take in each game? And, Different balls for different situations soon? Yeah, there's no limit actually to the number of balls that they can have down there. Um, both of these ball bowlers are using reactive resin balls for their first shot. Um, we don't get to see what uh, Carl's using too often on his second shot because he hasn't left too many pins standing. And that's why, because he's knocking them all into the pit with another strike. Oh, it's a top effort there from Carl. Nine strikes. Boy. Yep. 
both ball bowlers are using the um, same type of bowling ball. They're both uh, wolf balls. Uh, Carl using the, uh, the latest wolf ball, the werewolf, and Kara is using the sea wolf. So there we go. So if some of the bowlers at home can't get the ball to turn as much on the lanes, it might be that they need to go out and buy one of these new reactive resin balls. There you go, folks. You heard it first. <laughs> Carl Bottomley, another stroke to really nail a sensational game in the Coca-Cola 10-10 Classic. It's a phenomenal scorecard. Carl it's started with seven in a row and eight spare. Now three more strikes and he'll be looking for one more to finish off the game. Yeah, it's a fantastic feeling here today. The crowd's really loving this game. Boy, how are we going to pick a how are... fire magic moment out of this game? Exactly. How are we going to? This is easily going to be the highest scoring game of the Classic thus far. This will eclipse Cara's Cara, who previously held that record at 248. As Glenn's mentioned, Carl, if he strikes here, will finish with a 278. And there's every opportunity for him. And he doesn't let us down. That is a fabulous display. And it really sends out a warning to anyone else in the Coca Cola Classic. This man is going to be very hard to beat. The most comprehensive win over a former World Cup champ. Oh, now Bottomley, 278. Carl Honeychurch, 235. Not though, though, Bill, because Cara still has to bowl out a 10th frame. Yes, that's right. Getting a little bit ahead of myself there, but uh, a lot of performance. Cara's still looking at a possible 235 game. If she can manage to get three strikes here in the 10th frame. Oh. She's not finished either. And a 235 is an extraordinary high score as well in, in terms of what we've seen in the Classic. No, she certainly hasn't disgraced herself here today. She's, uh, she's bowled fantastic. Like I said, if she can uh, get the next two, she's finished with a 235. And uh, a lot of bowlers would be extremely happy to be able to bowl a 235. Well, they say if, if there's going to be a place to leave it, that's where you want to leave it. <laughs> yeah, that, that sure is, Sue. It looked like that Cara just probably pulled the ball inside a target slightly. And she's left herself with a difficult spot. So she's looking at a 2.21 game at the moment. If she can take two pins here, which she does. There we go. Now it's all over. Carl Bottomley makes an explosive start to the Coca-Cola 10-pin Classic in a 2.78 game to beat Cara Honeychurch and eliminate her from the tournament for 2.21. This game so far in the Coca-Cola Classic, and that's Carl Bottomley. Carl, congratulations. It was a great first-up effort for you. Thank you very much. I'm very, very pleased with that. Well, 11 strikes out of 12. What about that eight spare? What were you feeling with that one, or do you know what happened there? Uh, I wasn't feeling too bad, actually. I was surprised I wasn't that nervous. I was just a little bit warm and it just sort of slipped off my thumb a little bit too quickly. Now, you finished off the game with three in a row, and that was, uh, or at least three in a row, and that was a, a great finish as well, that last strike. Just a little bit of pressure eased off, was it? Yeah, the 12 shot was more like a relaxation shot. The game's over and it's just throw one to enjoy it. Well, how about that? It just doesn't get any better in the Coca-Cola 10-pin Classic. That was an amazing game, uh, the best game I've seen in the Classic thus far, I think. What can we say, Bill? We thought Cara's 248 last week was great, but Carl, 278 with uh, just one frame and eight spare there. Everything else cleaned the, the rack out for strikes. It was a wonderful score, and he'll move on. He'll be tough to beat on that sort of form. Well, can he repeat it next week against Anne-Marie Putney from uh, New South Wales? Well, Anne-Marie last November, she was at the World Cup too in Egypt, and uh, she's a seasoned performer both overseas and here in Australia. So, I don't know, it's Carl's on fire, we know that, but Anne-Marie is very good. We'll see what happens next week. All right, we look forward to your company, Glenn, and yours as well next week as the Coca-Cola 10-pin Classic hots up. In the meantime, get out and take on the 10 pin. She was world champion. So what? Let's show her who she's taking on today. Bowling is fun for all ages, and bowling in a team is a great way to polish your game. Each week, you get together for some friendly competition and some fun. And you get to take on the 10 pin. Join a team and take on the 10 pins. Sign on today. 10 pin classic.